What's going on everyone? It's Brucey e. Sprue with the fifth video in my Nothing Special series where I max a main account as an average player, do as much content as possible, and make videos of my journey along the way. Today I have a deranged archaeologist guide, I received a crazy archaeologist task, and in place of this you are able to kill the deranged archaeologist over on Fossil Island. I had never killed this boss before, so I figured I'd try it out and avoid the wilderness as well, which is where the crazy archaeologist resides. The only hard requirement to kill the deranged archaeologist is that you must have Fossil Island unlocked. As for the stats, you'll want at least 50 mage for Ibn's Blast, but 75 plus is recommended, so you can use a charge staff for the DPS boost. You'll want at least 40 prayer to have access to protect from missiles, and high HP also helps because this boss's special attack can deal some serious damage. Luckily, it's pretty easy to avoid it. As always, I will throw up the wiki recommended gear here real quick. The main thing to look for in your gear is mage attack bonus and prayer bonus. You're praying protect from range the whole fight, and the boss's special attack can be avoided, so it is possible to take no damage. If this is the case for you, then I'd recommend going for more prayer bonus to extend your trips, and if this is not the case for you, then I'd recommend more mage attack bonus for faster kills, so you don't have as many chances of taking the special attack if you cannot avoid it. For the inventory, pretty light. I'll bring five food and five prayer pots to start off. The boss does drop supplies like food and prayer pots to keep you going, but feel free to bring more. You'll want at least one anti-poison because you can get poisoned on the run there, at least one dose, as well as an axe to cut a vine which you will need, uh, which you'll need to do to get to the boss. Other than that, just some tellies out and a rune pouch with runes for alks because the boss does drop a decent bit of alkables. All right, next I'll pull up an example kill of how to get to the boss and how the fight goes. So get to Fossil Island however you're able, and if you have a sticky swamp telly on a mush tree, you'll want to use that. If not, I'll show here how to unlock it. And you will take a lot of damage when you're unlocking it. You only need to do it once, so bring some extra food if it's your first time. You'll go to the mushroom meadow and start running south. And you'll find a mushroom over here that you can jump on, so you'll want to jump on that and you'll hit yes to take the damage. And this will take us right to the Sticky Swamp Mush Tree. If you already have the teleport unlocked, you can just come right here to the Sticky Swamp. Next, we will run south and cut this southern vine. You do have a tar monster that can occasionally blind you, and that tree can poison you, which is why we bring the anti-poison. We'll run to the southernmost part of the island. That is where the boss is located. And when you are ready, you can climb over the trunk to start the fight. The deranged archaeologist does have the same attacks as the crazy archaeologist, a ranged attack, which you will protect from the whole time, as well as a normal melee attack, so we're not standing near him. We don't need to worry about that. And an AoE special attack, which you just saw. The main difference between the deranged special attack and the crazy archaeologist special attack is that the deranged special attack is a lot stronger. And instead of affecting a 3x3 three three area, it can affect a 9x9 nine nine area and deals a lot more damage. So if you're not careful, it can kill you instantly. The fight is pretty simple though here. As you'll see, you'll just want to stand back and mage and keep your eyes above his head to watch for a chat that says, learn to read. That means he's going to special attack you and you'll need to get out of there. And I find the easiest thing to do is just to move from side to side whenever he says this. So as you can see, the kills are pretty quick. It doesn't take long to learn the fight, I promise you that. You only need to pay attention and move sides when the special attack goes off. There's nothing else 
uh, concerning going on that you need to be worried about. But that is it for the fight, everyone. I will meet you back at the GE, and we can go over the loot I made from this task. All right, 35 kills total for the task, and I made out with a little under half a mil. I won't bother selling everyone everything for this one, guys. I don't think it's it's really worth it. But as always, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will catch you all in the next one for a Barrels Guide. Take care. Peace.